3.33 for last to Griff. Toledo needs a 4.39 on this wave to go right into first. He's got that stall. He wants to ramp up. Clear for takeoff. Full <laughs> rotation. Seamless on the landing. Right into a wrapping cutback. Now Toledo ramping up again. Big section. Throw tail okay, reverse wow. complete. Wow. The king of high performance has Medina. Needing to stretch that one out. Italo can't stop laughing. Toledo putting on a performance for everybody around the world. And he is a showman. He feels electric off the cloud. I think Toledo might do his best surfing in a jersey. It even lifts his performance more than even free surfs as we wait for the biggest score of the final to come in. Yeah, it must get hot going, going in the air this high. <laughs> One more look, Mitch, what do you think? Well, he almost even over-rotated here on the alley-oop. As you can see there, beautiful transition and great use of the weight distribution on his board too when he was coming down. And as you can see here, was, he was just eyeing the section at the end, and that's his stock standard, as you were saying, Joe. That blow tail reverse that he can kind of push towards the beach. But look at the alley-oop, though. He goes into, tra into transition right here, and look at the way he uses his shoulders to rotate and he almost even over-rotates. That's why he has to bring the shoulder back around when he does that right there. Wow, and huge scores coming in for Felipe Toledo. 9.57 for this second effort of the final. But Love the wrap amazing. in the combination. And then to rotate the other way just shows exactly. off his skill set. He didn't repeat the alley-oop motion. Shows how talented he is in the, and above the lip to go the other way. The variation and your muscle memory from the air right before, it's so difficult for you to kind of do that in the moment. Italo Ferrara has to give way to Felipe Toledo, who executes on his priority. Little gaff off the beginning. Looks for the <laughs> wrap alley-oop. It's a huge one and stomps it. No problem for Toledo. More amplitude, air reverse, wow. finish, and those are the combos that make Felipe Toledo so, so dangerous. Alley -oop to front side, air reverse, very little space in between those two airs. Mitchell, he is going to flip this heat right now, for sure getting north of that 5.2 requirement. But the wave actually ended up being a great one. Beautiful first turn, carves it up right there, driving through his rails, and how's this alley -oop? Beautiful technique, especially in the landing and a quick transition to go into the next air. Boy, what a combo. You talk about one of the greatest surfers of all time, especially at point breaks. He's been the king of Africa a couple of times. He's gonna be the king of the Latin American Jeffrey Bay here at the end of the day, I feel. I love to be able to uh, really study this in slow motion, the leverage, the alley-oop against the wind, Mitchell. And then this is the important part. The shock absorbers to get back down there, get back on his toes, to get engage that rail. No loss of momentum, enough speed to get into this next maneuver and flip it out, that pop. But look at his eyesight though. See how he's always looking at the landing as soon as he's going up into the air. That's not only the key to great airs, but it's also the key to sticking them too, Kaipo. Good looking wave for Felipe again. Stylish high line. Big carve, utilizing the whole rail all the way back. An extra speed for Toledo. Cuts it short on that car, building up some speed down the line. Lip glide, gouges a layback for the finish, and that's a backup for the 8.17. Here we go with Felipe Toledo. Screaming down the line, high line, speed line, gets to the bottom, and unleashes a big fin throw off the top. Once again, the quickness of Toledo in another gear, easily getting through this section right here, building up some speed, has to float over that section, comes to this white water coping and just slashes, combos it up for the finish. A little bit of a splash in the face, but no problem for Toledo as he finishes off. And just the kick out right there, the body length language that I'm seeing from Felipe Toledo is that he's excited. We talked about a long day, Rosie, and it has been a long day for Felipe, but he's got a ton of energy. It looks like he's got a lot of gas left in the tank. And he's going for a major upset in this event. Yeah, well, don't kill, count Felipe out, and here he goes. Felipe Toledo could be ramping up his energy on this one. Solid wall to start. Nice, clean vertical for world number one. Drives hard into the oncoming section. Oh. Blow tail reverse right off the top. Touches the float. Winds up for the finish. A big <laughs> oh tail drift. Gosh. Controls oh, it. That Love that style with that backhand tube. Stance back to turns for Felipe. 
plenty of open face to work with. Crushes it there, two big hooks. There's the third, and quickly reacting to shut it down. Re recovering on his heels, he will stay on his feet. And I love when he starts getting animated. Pace to, uh, to this lineup, and here he goes now. First ride of heat number five, the round of 16. Sees Toledo hammering down the line. First section isn't wasted. Nice turn there. And now improves, well, I think, the, the move choice there. D ditching the fins for a moment. And now rolling through to the inside. Tricky end section. But Felipe just ollies over the step. Maintains that control. And it'll be a, a positive start for him. And he really will be able to open up soon. Let's look at the replay here. Philippe stretching out on that long, grinding roundhouse cutback, up and over the foam again, coming from behind it, straight back into the pocket, so good variety to this point. Shows some patience here, and then jams the full wrap, streaking down the line, when you already were setting up for, bang, hits the alley-oop, comes down without a hiccup, doesn't lose any speed at all, and then goes right out, another section. Let's hit it again and then just go for that front side rotation that he just has on absolute lockdown. Great aerial view there and you could see the whole bottom of his board. Full rotation and then streaking down the line here. So taking advantage of these little cupped out sections towards the shoreline. Just using the wind to his advantage, Joe. And uh, most aerialists, uh, they'll sort of shy away from the airs, really, when, it, when we have this strong upshore wind. But Philippe has this ability to keep his uh, board well and truly glued to his feet. So impressed. I don't know if a, a wave could really explain that he is the king of variety on tour more than this one. Another note, this wasn't a huge set wave either in terms of what we've seen at Rincon. This was a, a sort of smaller to medium-sized wave. Philippe is a little bit more charismatic, sort of a little bit more sort of how Parco competed, really fun and, and energetic as we see Phil paddling in this one. Getting things started early, Toledo. Nice, clean swoop off the bottom. Steep section here, oh, and he has wow. the section. So swift in transition through that carve, and again leans on the rail hard. And he hammers it. Big layback. Great variation shown already. What a start for Toledo. Knows he needs to put the foot down. John John Florence has come off the two highest scoring heats of the contest so far. And one of the highest scoring heats we've seen this season. And Toledo's not done with this one. If anyone's going to throw something big on the end section, it's this guy. It's a clean finish. And wow. a big way to really grab this heat by the throat and give it a good squeeze. Oh my gosh, that was unbelievable surfing from Philippe to <laughs> Toledo. How about opening your, your heat with that exchange? Looks like he's uh, jumped off the dark arts. How was that check turn to start things off, to get him in position for that one? Huge opening arc to start things off. That thing there was one of the best calves we've seen all week. He follows it up with another one. And that fourth turn was absolutely hammer time. And then Philippe comes through to the inside. He knows right now. He, he already knows he's got a huge score. Puts a little sugar on the end of it. And uh, we're going to see an excellent score drop here. Might have to change the scale and make it 20 points. <laughs> well, uh, a good heat on paper. You know, it needs a good start. And Felipe provided that. Unbelievable turns, Mick. And just the confidence he built down the line. Yeah, like you just saw this this wave actually stood up. It had clean faces every time he went up into it. Look at that. Oh, just pedal to the metal the whole way through. That was. Um, it, it's just incredible. And it had that cup the whole way and allowed him to just go absolutely nuts. This next turn's my favourite one. But you have a look at the rail of his board. It's from the nose all the way to the tail. He's driving through. This turn is absolutely loony. You picked up Mick on the on the board change, but look at that. Just he actually dug the nose in, stabbed it in there, released the fins. Same thing for Morgan. He will always be able to talk about the, the two heats he surfed and won against John John Florence. He has an opportunity in the next heat to claim a third victory over the two-time world champ, but he'll have his hands full. John's been on fire, as has this man, Toledo. The Brazilian starts off with a couple of big hits, already has a 7.57 in the bank. 
And he'll add to it with this ride. It's going to easily get rid of his throwaway score. The first wave of the heat. And he, again, is a, a guy that can actually really increase his heat score or wave score with a big finish on the inside. As we have another look at this flawless scene in front of us, Bugs. Yeah, and here we go. Felipe winding up. Hard off the bottom. There's an aggressive forehand carve. Drills it again. Toledo in motion. Nice top turn over the roof. And now setting up the end of this wave. Toledo is a magician in sections like this. He'll just pace with a front side carve. Now heating up. Looking for a good closeout section. Nice clean off the top. Hits it again. Toledo stays on his feet. His best wave so far. Kaipo, Guerrero, whatever Toledo's riding looks perfect for the conditions today. The direction of the swell has changed, allowing for better shape and more peaks just like this. Toledo off the bottom, stalling, dragging the bum. He gets some nice coverage on the backhand. He's looking for something in here. Goes for a massive rotation. It is buttery, soft and smooth as you like. The crowd loves it. And that is beautiful surfing from Felipe Toledo. Deep, critical tube, massive air with the rotation. Really trying to hang on back to Toledo. Quickly whipping that section off the top. Drawing a huge power gouge off the lip, and he's feeling good about that one. <laughs> he should feel good about that one. That was pretty intense, that way of the two-turn combination from Italo. Um, that's been a, a recipe for success out here at Sunset. He's feeling it. I mean, to, to have your opponent start out as strong as what Ethan has and to fight back the way that... Felipe has that gets the competitive juices flowing so much energy in both of these maneuvers Which one did you like better? Oh, that's like picking a favorite child. I mean <laughs> look at this uh, I think it's always just so impactful that last maneuver the way that he really throws everything at it I love that layback up under his priority get him thinking about you, but for Felipe the signs are good mate. the surfing's great and he's got another chance pulls the trigger on this one Toledo Nice, solid power gouge. Last year's runner-up in the Ooh. world. Drills it off the top again. Highlighting that lip line. Feeling solid. Easily a 4.84. We'll see the lead change with seven minutes to go.